What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, I believe we only got two stars from the Clockwork Ruins Galaxy. And now, we are finally going to everybody's favorite galaxy in this game. The Throwback Galaxy. Return of the Womp King. Here we go. The, one of, if not the best fan service that Nintendo has ever done. Sorry, Luigi, this is Mario's time to shine. Just give me one second to the bomb. Hey you, the guy with the stash, you came along just in time. Would you do me a favor and get that star back from the Wong King at the top of that scale? To the top. Well, because you asked so nicely, I guess I'll oblige. Oh boy. Considering that the best, it's one of the first levels in the level in the game that it's throwing back to, which I'm sure everybody knows, but I'm sure I'm also sure there are a few people that don't know. Because it is old and there are very youngish people that have never played Super Mario 64. But, honestly, as nice as this is, I still personally prefer the older version because it just feels like there's a lot more to do. Because in this, it's, it's kill the Womp King just like the first mission in the original version. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. I need to go get the, uh, comet medal, and I don't remember where that is. Ooh. Knowing Nintendo. No, it's just a one-up. Okay. Where is the comet medal then? Oh. Hi. I don't run into you. Down here. I bet you it's down here. Yep. Do I know Nintendo or do I know Nintendo? There is still a cannon here. It's not a cannon, it's a slingshot. Oh, I'm so sad. I guess that would be a little broken to have with just a regular level. Although, ooh, we have had them in regular levels before. I think. Don't quote me on that. In fact, don't quote me on anything, ever. So, now that we have our common medal, we can go fight Mr. Womp King. It makes me so mad. You build your houses, your castles, and pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not gonna work your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to ground pound the Womp King. Ha! Well, considering how easy you make it to dodge. I forgot that he stuns you in this game. I missed the mark. By a fair margin. Okay, so. The Womp King fights. He ground pounds. And if you... Ow. And if he... Okay, fine. 
you can have that. What happened there? I would love to know. Other than me consistently getting stunned by this dick. Every time he jumps, regardless of what attack he's doing, he will stun you. He also stuns you for the... Um, when he stomps and summons the mini wampings. But, three hits. No! Crushed again! I am just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel. Uh, grovel. Grovel. Okay, you win. Here, take this with you. <sighs> Dang it. Three hits, he did. And honestly, I'm surprised that I didn't get crushed at all. I did take a bunch of damage from mostly the mini Womplings, but I didn't directly take damage. Or I didn't directly get hit by him, so I didn't die. Which, honestly, that's surprising to me. Hey, yo! What are you doing bringing hazardous materials aboard? You just better make sure he stays calm. I don't want any angry bomb on the ship. Okay, okay. Honestly, he's a red bomb, and those are not really as hot headed. Um. So, yeah, we have another mission we can do here, though. Let's see what that is. As I readjust myself, that you can probably hear because I'm probably too lazy to, uh. edit it out. But whatever. The, um. I didn't know you could do that. You can fuck with the camera as you're flying in by pressing C. Hey! What? Hey, Stashman, thanks to you, this place is peaceful again. Just gathered some silver stars around here for you. Go ahead and grab them. Get the silver stars. This, I believe, is in reference to Super Mario 64 DS, where, because I think that is where silver stars originate. I really hope you don't quote me on that, though, because I have a probably good chance of being wrong. But, you do also have Silver Stars over here where there is stuff that is unique to 64DX. I'm just saying, it's never stated, but it feels that way, at least to me. There was a silver star there on top of that cloud. What? Don't look at me like that, I didn't put it there. There's a silver star up ahead that you already got because you came from the other direction. Um, friendly reminder, that water kills your cloud power. Just like... For no reason, pretty much. Ow, you dick. There is probably one up up there. Yep. I knew there was one last mission. I didn't remember if it was this mission, but I was right there is. And so we need to get our cloud power up back. Because if we don't, we fall. We fall, we fall, we fall. But it's okay because once we're back up there, there is another cloud power for us to get. Right here. Where we can uh, launch them. 
and accidentally make that much that you didn't need to. Seeing that you only have one more silver star to get. Now where is this last silver star? Probably the top of the fortress. feeling I get. What about you? Also, Bowser is... Uh-huh. Uh, I knew it. You may or may not have seen this on the way in. I don't remember. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We have ourselves a star that we missed. Honestly, I love this level a lot. It's a really, really nice nod to Super Mario 64. And honestly, it made fans really happy when this game first came out. I personally liked it. And look at that! We already have a comet with Robot Galaxy. Now, I just want to check... <coughs> Excuse me. I just want to check one thing real quick. Why are you not getting anything? I know you're supposed to... I do not mean to do that. Okay. I know it's supposed to, um... Have... It, it, we have a comet metal there, so we're supposed to be getting a comet for some kind of mission sometime soon? Just don't know when. Well, Silver Star speedrun. Okay. Well, we just figured out where all of them are. So as long as we don't lose our uh, cloud flower again, we should be fine. Oh, we only have two minutes. Fun. Well, let's go then. We can hopefully avoid losing it this time, like I mentioned. Uh, we only have two minutes to complete this mission, which is probably enough time as long as we don't have. But knowing me, something will go wrong. Just because I'm me. See, like that. I didn't angle correctly. Oh boy. Which means now we have to go the long way around. Fun fact, long jumping is not the fastest method of travel in Super Mario 64. A lot of people I know think it is, but it is not. Jump diving is faster. Also, we only have 30 seconds, so I'm going to forego killing the Goombas. I mean, I probably could have and been fine, but I didn't want to risk anything. Also, it's very annoying that I cannot hit this star with the ground hound, regardless of what version of the star it is. But whatever. It's fine. Completely fine. Anyway, that went by a lot smoother than I was expecting. Because any time I'm in Walk's Fortress in the original, it does not go at that well. We still need 1800 Star Wars for that guy. But, next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we will be going to the Battle Belt Galaxy. See you guys 